All Pokemon games begin the same. Choose your gender, pick a starter Pokemon, go on a new adventure, beat the bad guys, and become champion. Now what if you wanted to become the villain? Ten years ago, the Great War took place. The current Pokemon League champ, Lance restored peace and prosperity to the country. Not everyone likes this outcome, and as a result, many gangs, mobs, and organized crimes were formed. This is Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition. So, cursing is a thing. To be fair, this is my first ROM hack, and I really enjoyed this little detail. The game begins inside of Team Rocket's hideout under the casino in Celadon City. Here, Petrol assigns all new recruits to their first mission, and supplies you with your very first Pokemon, Rattata. We're told to grab the HM Fly from a scientist upstairs and make our way over to Mount Moon as soon as possible. I took the time to talk to some of the other grunts, and everyone is completely obsessed with stealing Pokemon, as they should be in true Team Rocket nature. So we grab our HM, and just before exiting the hideout, we're interrupted by THE expert robber, Ronnie. He's kind of a goofball, but we'll dive into his character soon. He decides to teach us how to steal a Pokemon using a little girl named Susie. In this ROM hack, stealing Pokemon is based on three different conditions. Your rank, the kind of people you can steal from, and winning the battle. As a grunt, we're only allowed to steal from kids and old people. This list will expand along with story progression. The game gives you a new perspective of Pokemon Fire Red, and my biggest concern about this game at first was a level balancing. After having a few battles in Mount Moon, I was feeling good about myself. Un until I was forced to battle red. Let's get into it, man. Oh, this music is crazy. Oh, this music is crazy. I'm gonna save save. Okay, we got a six on six. And I sent out Poliwag first? I'm such a G for that. Should I have trained more? I think so. Oh my god, bruh. After getting stomped on, I was determined to get my vengeance. You see, defeating Red will net you a huge payout of 24,000 Poké Dollars. I needed the money since the newbie trainer battles weren't cutting it. So I flew back to Celadon City, trained my entire team without any breaks, and here was the result. We need to hit Hypnosis. Let's go with Hypnosis. Oh, that hurts. Hypnosis now. Okay, nice. We got it off. We got it off. Now that he's asleep, I'm going to go ahead and set up a rain dance. Of course, he woke up. Of course. Missed. Missed again. He's asleep. Nice. Bubble beam. Okay, so Pikachu's coming out. Now we should send out Jolteon and hit up the double kick. I think this is our best bet. Okay, we're playing this kind of decently so far. And we outspeed. Core static. Ooh, I do have a paralyzed heal. Let's use it. Yikes. We might lose Jolteon. I cannot lose Jolteon. Fuck. We do have a revive, so we could sack a Pokemon. He's hit. Do we kill? Woo! Nice! Butterfree is coming out, which we can send out our man Legend Slay. Let's start off with a Flame Wheel. Of course you're gonna confuse. Oh, Sleep Powder, that hurts. Not looking good. I should have sent out Susie. I think that was a better choice, but it's okay. Susie has enough attack, I think, to kill. Damn it! I'm dead. Okay, good job, Butterfree. We have a Pidgeotto left. Yeah, let's sack Wag. Revive on Armin, right? Oh, we're gonna have almost no chance to hit this. Come on, give me a good roll. Yes! Please work. It's all in Sleep Powder. Yes! Nice! Oh, wow, dude. All right. Who's left? Who's left? Mankey. Do I get outsped by Mankey? Let's try it. I mean, I have nothing to lose. Citrus Berry, fuck you. This is up the wag. Can he do it? Can he finish him off? We did it, man. 
are ace. Bro, you weren't supposed to beat me just now. God, how's a man supposed to keep a plot going if you go about messing it up? Okay, listen, just go along with what happens next and pretend like I just beat you straight out, okay? Jesus. <laughs> 24k, dude. That battle was so cool, and it's what made me hooked on this ROM hack. All missions work around the same formula. Mission briefing, complete the mission, then report back to Giovanni for a debrief. The story makes a bunch of references to the official Pokemon Red Adventures manga, where many of the gym leaders and protagonists happen to be working with Team Rocket. Several of these missions include things like blackmailing other protagonists, running from the cops, AIDS, smuggling drugs in exchange for Pokemon, and beating up up Mr. Fuji to teach him some manners. Or something like that. A few notable moments throughout these missions were watching Lieutenant Surge lie to some kids about being strong and then immediately taking drugs from us, making the captain sick on the SSN, and silently listening to Blue vent his heart out. This is where the game takes a turning point and gets darker. Professor Oak, Blaine, Fuji, and Shigaki all created this for war. Now hold up, we need some context on this. Giovanni was an Elite Four member, and as I said earlier, the Great War happened 10 years ago. So, he teamed up with the brightest scientists in the region to capture and extract power out of Mew for war. This was dubbed the Mewtwo Project. Giovanni invested his own money into this project, which initially failed. After, they came up with a bright idea, using their own human DNA combined with Mew's DNA. This created Mewtwo. It was so smart that it knew it was a weapon of war, so it escaped and fled into the Cerulean Cave, never to be seen again. Professor Oak surrendered, and that was a wrap. Fuji, Blaine, and Bill all surrendered to Lance, except for Shigeki. He went missing. On the other hand, Giovanni was stripped of his Elite Four status, broke, and felt defeated. His own nation was invaded by a bunch of Johto people, and this is how Team Rocket began. We got our first promotion as a Rocket Admin, and I get tasked with a couple more missions. First, investigate Oak's lab, who isn't even there. But we meet Agatha, which is Oak's ex-partner, or something like that, and Blue's sister, only for Ronnie to murder her. Thanks, man. The other mission involves us tracking down Blaine and forcing him to produce more Porygon for Team Rocket. At this point, Giovanni is fed up with everything and goes all out on this mission. Take over Silphco, the Pokeball Monopoly, to steal the Master Ball to capture Mewtwo. Our individual goal is to capture and steal cards from several scientists. After, we're forced to give Ronnie the Master Key card that we just worked so hard for. We encounter Bill at the top floor and get forced into battle. After spanking that, we take over the building, get a sweet promotion as a rocket executive, and begin the end game. Bill calls up and tells us to meet him on Cinnabar Island without any explanation. He wants to create his own master ball. This man is so smart, he somehow memorized the blueprints to make one. So we go out, fetch the ingredients for that master ball, run into silver, and report back to HQ. We lost Silphco because of Red. Giovanni is pissed and directs the blame to the one and only Ronnie. Nidoking, prepare for attack. Oh my God, is he gonna kill him? Leave us, leave us you worthless scum. You're not worthy of the R that's printed on your chest. If I ever see your face again, I'll grind it into berry powder. Mark my words. I will. He continually ruins every mission somehow. Getting the nation's eyes on Team Rocket, killing Blue's innocent sister, and the worst part, Ronnie dropped my key card that I gave him. He gets kicked out of Team Rocket as expected, and Giovanni sets up for one last go around, set up at the Viridian City Gym, ready for red. Bill finishes the Master Ball and we're tasked with capturing Mewtwo, who just dominates us and refuses to be captured. <laughs> I'm fucked. <gasps> Can we catch this? Is he gonna cut off our arm? A dodge. Ah. Oh. We learned some grave information from Mewtwo, who, by the way, can talk. The missing scientist, Shigeki, is actually the old man catch tutorial in Viridian City. He comes clean about everything and reveals that one of the failed experiments from the Great War exists in a super secret area. Right next door to Blaine's gym, sealed within an ice block by a computer program. Shigeki presses the undo button on the computer and then... Oh shit. Oh shit, it's so glitch. Cinnabar Island question mark? Uh, is it that guy? What is it?
<laughs> I will earn huge money. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to... Uh, uh, the e easy strows. <clears throat> Steal which Pokemon? No, please. <laughs> oh, it's me. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Mudskip, 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 Mudskip. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened here. What is this? Help. I understand. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, shit. It's fucking missing, though. How did you know, Nitrol? <laughs> they put missing no into the game. It's just like a... It's an NPC. What is that? This is what I love about this ROM hack. Feeding into the glitches and deep lore of the games. Everything you thought you knew was a complete lie. This is scaring the shit out of me. Oak is an evil creep who has been plotting his revenge with his favorite weapon of choice, Red. Since Oak is banned from battling Pokemon and whatnot, he decided to genetically engineer a child prodigy who would rise and become the new Pokemon League champion that would end Lance's reign. Giovanni is now out of all options, and to no surprise, Red got his final gym badge and forced Giovanni to go into early retirement. Entrusting his money, um, <clears throat> I mean, uh, legacy to me, here I received my final promotion into a Rocket Boss. Personally, I like the Rocket Executive outfit more, but that's just my personal preference. Things get even crazier from here. Out of my way if you know what's good for you. Oh shit, Giovanni? No, you're just one of his more well-dressed goons, aren't you? After losing his champ status, Lance challenges us to a battle, which I was not prepared for. His team isn't all that bad, except for Kingdra. D-Dance gives me nightmares. I had to beat Lance twice because the first time, I stole the wrong Pokemon from him. I fucking misclicked. But the second time around, I took Kingdra, of course. The entire game made me lost on how we were going to enter the Pokemon League without any gym badges. Of course, in typical Team Rocket fashion, we just brute force our way through the guards. I wanted to avoid grinding as much as possible, so I built my team around the Pokemon I stole from the guards. Victory Road was a breeze thanks to its redesign being HM-less. We made it! The Indigo Plateau! Let's go! Is that Ronnie? Hello, Mudskip. Good lord, it's been a while. Hey, don't you recognize me? Stupid old dingbat, it's me, Ronnie. Man, I'll tell you, it's been tough since Team Rocket. I've robbed a couple of, of youngsters and schoolgirls and things, but it's just not the same anymore. Well, look at you, Mr. Posh. I suppose the hair gel comes with the promotion, does it? I always thought you were a little camp, but this takes a cake. <laughs> anyway, these are mad times, Mudskip. Have you heard the news? Lance is done for, defeated, and guess what? Someone's just gone in to challenge a new Elite Four already. Oh no, but here's the best part. Guess who the new champion is? Here, just wait. It's gonna be on TV any second now. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. I couldn't believe it. I made final preparations and needed a way into the Elite Four, but I needed some help from no one other than the expert robber and ex-Rocket Grunt. This guy quickly became my favorite character in the game. I went from his biggest hater to his best friend. Are you guys trying to break in the Elite Four? That's rad. What's that? You need help. What? You mean my help? Damn, I never thought you'd say that. You know, Mudskip, I, I know I haven't been the greatest buddy in the world. I keep getting things wrong and screwing stuff up. I know I'm not as smart as you, and I just wanted to be bad. A real badass pimp gangster, right? The whole nine yards. I didn't want to wait around. I didn't want anyone to think I was a sissy. I couldn't take it. I'm real sorry. I'm going to set things straight and be a proper thief like you one day. I'll do things by the plan. No more cutting corners. So look, just this once. Leave it to me, Mudskip, for old time's sake. Radicate? Hell yeah. On alert, you, ra you lazy rat. We've got work to do. Radicate, give us a hyper fig. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that works. What the fuck? <laughs> She's just laid out to the side. Like, what is that? After making our way into the champion's room, Red is announced Kanto Region's new champ, 
Red gets exposed as a lab baby. This meeting cannot be allowed to continue. Everyone listen, Red cannot be champion. He's no real Pokemon trainer. He's not even a human being. Just some creature, some laboratory experiment created by Oak to do his bidding. Agatha and Oak have that Jada and that Will love, so she decides to defend Oak with her own Pokemon. This fight was almost an issue, but we still get it done. Oak explains his crazy plan to us and forces Red to challenge us to a fight. I don't think I'm prepared for this. Fucking Charizard, dude. <laughs> Dragonite. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Can I win this chat? If I can't kill Snor- uh, fucking Snorlax, dude. Snorlax? Ah, <sighs> god, um... So glad I used a revive. Oh my god, man. I don't stand a chance. No, it's not possible. I wasn't prepared for Red, you worthless idiot. We barely scraped by. Then enters Agatha. Again. Samuel, I'm so sorry. I had you all wrong. I really thought 10 years ago that you had become a coward. It didn't seem right to me. I knew it didn't add up. Throw me away in disgust when I'm at my lowest and weakest. Then come back begging at my feet, right as I return to power. And then to speak to me now in lofty terms about love and honor, you disgust me. Here. I'll show you what I think about your fucking honor. That's the first F-bomb they dropped. Tauros Giga Impact. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god! Oak has a little fit and threatens us with the same fate as Agatha. You're on your own. We're fighting Samuel Oak. Professor Samuel Oak. Oh my fucking god. I do not have the correct Pokemon out. Um, let's discharge, I guess. Thank you for the attack increase. Appreciate it. Please hit. Fuck. Please hit. Oh no. Oh no. That did... Kind of nothing. He's just gonna work up. Huh. <sighs> Stop wishing. Oh my god. Thank you. Nice freeze. <sighs> this dude is so fucking annoying, guys. Bulk up was not gonna save me. Holy fucking shit. I get outsped? Okay. One Pokemon down for Moog. Okay, we have five revives left, and we need to use them very carefully. Very carefully. We just got the craziest paralysis. So lucky. That was so lucky. Okay. Cross shot, please hit. Fuck yes. Oh, that's a kill. Who's next? Executor. Executor, uh, we don't. Kingdra outspeeds. This could be good. Actually, missing no. No, missing no. Aero Blast. Uh, good hit. Please kill. Whew. Okay, three down, I believe. We got Arcanine next. I want to set up Rain Dance. I don't know if that's a good idea. It could guarantee the kill. I don't have Rain Dance. Just kidding. Hydro Pump it is. Let's hope this hits. Let's hope this hits, boys. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. Yes! Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. Okay. I am gonna max Potion. This is fine. This is fine. Stream speed me all day. Just don't crit. Okay, very nice. Oh, let's go. We got Arcanine down. Gyarados is next. 
Let's stay out for now and let's revive our Ampharos. That's fine. He's going to do nothing this turn. Yep. Has a dis, uh, has a recharge. <sighs> that was so close. Please outspeed. Fuck you, Oak. God, that did so much damage. Please outspeed. Oh my god, Hydro Pump missed. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, one Pokemon left. We got this. Okay, we can use Missing though. We can one-shot this man with Aeroblast. It's possible. It is possible, ladies and gentlemen. We can finish off the final boss right here with one final blow using Aeroblast. So awesome. Love that. Please crit. Please crit. Ah, oh, we did it. We beat Oak. We beat Samuel Oak. We beat Pokemon Fire Red. Team Rocket Edition. Oh my god. What a ROM hack, dude. What a ROM hack. Holy shit. Steal a Pokemon? Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. And guess what? Guess who I'm gonna take? This Venusaur. Suck a fat one, dude. I have two of your fucking Pokemon starters. Of course I'm given a nickname. L O exclamation point. <laughs> it can't be right. It wasn't supposed to be this way. I had everything planned to the nth degree. Definitely the hardest fight in the game. But of course, the bad guys can't win. Lance storms back into the champion's room and arrests all of us to be put on trial. Oak somehow dodges the murder charge because it was deemed a Pokemon battle accident, and he gets banned from Kanto forever. As for me, Mudskip, please approach the bench as a member of Crime Syndicate Team Rocket with honorable title, Boss. You stand accused of countless alleged and confirmed counts of Pokemon theft, violent coercion, and intimidation, complicity in Pokemon smuggling and violence towards women, bicycle theft, threatening and attacking a police officer, and assisting the operations of a pair of unlicensed procurers operating in the underground path. Let's get there's a bounty on your head of $167,000. You will owe the region to cancel this amount and reparations for your crimes. Finally, the jury declares your sentence to be 24 years served in regional penitentiary. Can only hope you've enjoyed your time in the criminal underworld. Let's get- I was a good guy. It's plain to see why living beyond the law attracted you. But eventually, the chickens come home to roost. You've had your thrills, and now I'm afraid it's time we brought you back to the real world. Let's get- I declare you guilty as charged. But not Professor Oak. Dude, Professor Oak got the lightest sentence. This ROM hack was phenomenal. There's a number of side missions in the game. One that I personally enjoyed was rescuing a prostitute out of the underground tunnels and giving her a new life as a Pokemon Center nurse. There's a feature in the game where you can exchange your stolen Pokemon for rare items with the cops. Had I known that this would have lowered my bounty, I could have potentially gotten a good ending, but that's just my theory. If you're into dialogue-rich games, this is perfect for you. It took me around 11 hours straight to fully complete, and there's more content to explore in the post-game. Have you played this ROM hack yet? What are your thoughts on it? If not, what did you think of the story and gameplay? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Join the Discord! I'm hosting events and cool stuff that you do not want to miss. Lastly, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.